This particular drawing from the USA has been drawn in inches and uh, a number of architectural drafting people in the US will work in inches as a base unit. What that means is that if we use the distance command and just check the, uh, what's this, a rhododendron here, if we just measure across the diameter of the rhododendron, you can see it's specified at roughly uh, 50 inches in diameter. So um, the, the plants, everything in here is in inches. If we select this line here at the doorway, I'll just explode that now, just select that line there. Can you see its length over here in the properties box is 36. So we're fairly certain this drawing has been drawn in inches. Now, I, my preference would be to scale the drawing so that the base drawing is in decimal feet. What that will mean, it will mean an easier life for the contractor and a little easier when you come to set scale in the um, in the layout environment because we've given you on the modified drop down a set fixed layout, scale and layout. So let's just have a look at that. We won't be able to use that set fixed scale to layout because GK Plus is set up for working in decimal feet when you're working in the US. But we can still cope with it. The designer here wants the drawing to be plotted one inch to 10 feet. There are, of course, 12 inches in a foot, so a 10 foot is 120. So he wants a scale of 120. So if we come into layout, as you know, there's a floating viewport created. This happens to be, let's right click and go here. This happens to be, if we go in the layouts manager, legal size piece of paper, 8.5 by 14 inches wide. Now, if we use the distance measure, you can measure from here to here, and you can see 364. That's because GCAD plus paper sizes, even though we give the inches notation, are actually in millimetres. So to convert manually, in a sense, to select the frame and to pop in here a scale value, you can see I've already done, I've typed 4.72, and that gives me, in fact, a fixed scale of 1 to 120. How did I calculate that? Well, I simply activated the calculator uh, and I said um, our desired scale factor here when working in inches and plotting is going to be 120 and I simply divided by the conversion factor from um, inches to millimetres, which is 25.4 and that equals 4.72. So I typed 4.72 in that box and that view can in fact be labelled accurately scale 1 inch to 10 feet. Any contractor working on the site is going to need uh, a civil contract, a civil rule with that conversion factor. And uh, it, it's more usual to use a scale of say 1 to 128, which is uh, 3 32nd of an inch to 1 foot as a scale. And I'll swing to another drawing now where I actually scale this very same drawing up and just show you that you can use our tool to set the scale in the layout box. But you can only use that if your base drawing is in decimal feet rather than inches. So you can see we can cope with inches, but it's a little trickier. Um, if enough people ask, I guess we can have another set fixed scale in layout if you are working in inches, but it's starting to get a little complex to try and cope with all these possibilities. Well, I've opened a copy of the drawing. Let's just zoom in here. And if I pick that doorway, you can see now its length is three units or three feet. So I'm working in decimal feet now. I simply selected everything and scale things. If we now go to the layout space. I've called it legal. Uh, and I'll unselect all, called it legal um, to indicate that's the paper size. It's the same size as we had in the previous example. And now we can select, or in fact, we can simply use the set fixed scale in layout. And you remember that if we pick it and hit enter, we type I for Imperial and we're presented with 
a list of commonly used scales in the architectural environment in the US, you could have picked some architectural sheep, but we'll stick with this legal size sheep for the moment. And uh, oh, was it 1 to 128 was the closest we had to the 1 to 120 that we used in the previous example. So we can just type 1 over 1 to 8 and hit enter. So there's a, a 1, a 332nd of an inch to 1 foot scale uh, of that very same drawing. So I hope you can see that offers a, a slightly easier way to do things. Uh, we, we would need to do a, a complete different tool if you if many of you wanted to work in inches. But I'll make a separate movie to show it's very easy to convert any drawing into um, decimal feet as the base unit. The other advantage is that in the if you do that in the library when you bring in say our standard plants they come in at a canopy diameter of three units or three feet. If you're working in inches they're going to come in as a three inch diameter plant and that's going to be unwieldy you're going to have to scale everything up as has been done in that first example. So I hope that helps.